Hey all, tragically garnering back again here to muscle through the last bit of uh, this box from eBay. Um, this is like a big box of commons was the end of it. And there's been some okay stuff in it, but nothing too very exciting. So I am going to try to get through this quickly and see if there's anything that just really stands out as being great. Hopefully I will catch it. And if I don't, please let me know down in the comments. Oh, well. I mean, Waterworm is a common from the dark, but it's still a card from the dark, so yeah, it's nothing big, but I do always pull those because it's one of the older sets and they're pretty hot right now. Uh, Infernal Harvest, is that a rare? It is not. We'll get back around to removing that from the list later since it's under my 90 cent minimum towards the total of this box. Make sure if you're watching this to subscribe and like and share. Um, let's see here. I can't ever remember if that one's the worth pulling or not. It's not 90 or a dollar. It might be 60, so I'll check on it later. And we're just going to get to it. Sand Golem is probably a common from Mirage, but I was uncommon. Got to check, again, the chromatic sphere. Let's see, we're at $500.37. That brings it up about 58 cents. I've, my math is terrible. I'm gonna pull it, we'll check them later. Uh, it's, more, it's like 60 cents, right? It's like just on the cusp. Got a World Championship Pyroclasm. Pull that aside. That was given a big grouping. Kadama's Reach is a good card. Yeah. And it's not the Commander version, though. It is the Kamigawa version. So, pull that one. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. I'll just tick. Nope. Wasn't anything. Make sure the glare looks good. One with nature. Probably nothing. I was right. Moving on quickly. Molten Rain. That actually was a good card. Yeah. We've got it up on the list. So it didn't show up in the bottom, but... Do you know it was good? Skull Cage might be okay. No, nope, not really. Alright, here we go. I got a bunch of these to go through. I'd like to get through this in one shot. So this will probably be a bit of a long video. But that's pretty typical for me. Portent. Not quite good enough. Shard. I think the crystal shard was something, but not the granite. Murder spoils. Seems like a high casting cost. Yeah, those usually don't do well. See, the synod's good. Bing. Different printing. Still decent. No, I don't think so. Missed folk is probably nothing. Yep. Alright. This box had been properly picked for rares. There have been a f just a few. Um, but there were still some decent uncommons and commons left in here. So I always look. Scrabbling Claws, that's cool at least. I don't think it was worth anything. Same for those. 
one thing I wish that the TCG player app did was bring the current one that you just scanned down to the bottom so that you can manipulate it if you need to uh, if you have multiples find bomb nothing master the veil nothing I think so. Hey, well, that's something. Sleight of hand. That's definitely got some play to it, but that is a good card right there. Boy, what would that be in foil, I wonder? A 7th edition sleight of hand. 89 bucks. Yep, we just have the regular one now. Yeah, there haven't been any foils in this box at all. All the foils were in the binders that we went through before. Nothing that big though. Desperate Ritual. Bing. I don't know. I know it's more than a buck based on that noise. Ancient Den, that's good. It's uh, different printing, of course. Yeah, that's great. the sign out again take those oh, there's another one it's a different one I feel like Delver Lens did a better job of um, seeing the different additions than the TCG player app does but it um, they both have some pros and cons yeah Ugh. A little, little minor issue, that's all. Yep, wow, perfect. A bunch of these. might just try to ignore stuff like that in the future and just let them go in save a little time it's really not that big of a deal it's a little bit of a difference on the price total at the end but I'm not too concerned about it if you guys aren't hey school of the unseen this is um, just an uncommon land from alliances yep nothing big At least these are um, all in relatively good condition and they're not all like different ways in there to take a bunch of time you can go through them pretty quickly Oh, Rhystic Study, cool, except this one's, I got two of them, but this one's got stuff on it. Wow, that would have been great. Wow, fourteen ninety for a common. Yeah, this one's played. And this one, got something on it. I will try to clean that one up, maybe. Wow, hopefully there's some more of those. thing I have not found in here was any Clark Clan ironworks, which are worth quite a bit from this era. Bing. So 
I don't know if they were picked early on. I doubt that they were picked before they got sent out to me from eBay. This whole collection has been pretty decent. Been quite a bit of good stuff in here. Feels legit. Edition Common Oops, I don't know if you can even see this stuff. Commune with nature, I'm just gonna check. That's yeah, nothing. Yeah. Pretty confident I can skip by a lot of this stuff. I know I'm missing some stuff that's decent. I'm just gonna leave it as that. Bink, that was like a low money noise, but it's worth pulling. Still getting used to the TCG player app versus the uh, Delver app. glad I don't have to type all of these in like I used to. See the Synod, getting a lot of these, that's great. Obviously at the time they were something you'd throw into your bulk commons box. box. So, glad to see them here. They definitely add up. Rats. Is that rat worth anything? Oh, it is actually 99 cents. Alright, I'll keep a lookout for those. Chantress. No. The arch enemy version. Yeah, it's not much more less. Mud spawn. Rig, nope. I don't know why I'm pulling those. Probably going to do nothing with them. I remember pulling one of those out of a pack like the first probably week I played Magic way back then. I'm dating myself, I know. Stocking stones is probably not worth anything. Definitely not that one. Tempest, not any better. It wasn't Tempest, it was Mirrodin, but whatever. <laughs> Seething Song, Bing, I'm just going to leave it at that, Psychic Membrane, let me check, Nap, Molten Rain, a bunch of these, those I will probably put onto Card Sphere, shout out to my viewer Simon Kosh for turning me on to Card Sphere. If you're watching Simon, that's 
was good advice. I really am getting ready to put a bunch of stuff on there. So, thanks to you. Inspiration. S nope, that's nothing, right? Yeah. Hunter Sliver. Nothing really, but I'm going to pull them because they're slivers. Wizard. Anything? No. Chittering rats is though. There's another one. Okay. Still have a ways to go. I am going to put some of this stuff away. Grab another stack. this video has been I may still end up cutting it in half I still have a whole row of like 1250 cars to go through and even going quick it feels like it's been a, a little while so hey more videos <laughs> if you're into this stuff I guess that's good for you then no, nobody wants to gain six life, right? Earth lore. Not a rare. I'll check the grimoire. I know. Oh, I missed one before. All right. Shout it out down below. I missed that Geth's Grimoire. I don't even know how much it was. I can't see it easily, so I'm just going to let it go. So, I know I miss a lot of stuff. If you buy bulk from me on eBay, you're probably going to get some good stuff. Because sometimes I don't get around to picking that stuff back out of there. So, be on the lookout for that. Tragic the Garnering on eBay. Got some good stuff on there. Got some Prophecy Commons. Where's the Rhystic Studies? Berserkers from alliances is common. It's not the gorilla you were looking for. Flash of insight. Nope.
Lantern Lit Graveyards, uncommon, probably nothing big. Yep. Teferi's Curse, common. Chittering Rats again, just under a buck. more little stacks here and we'll call it good for this video hindering touch is nothing voice of all pretty decent angel not good enough presence of the master it's not the legends version so it's probably not much the legends version was always weird to me because it has Einstein on it it just seems really out of place for this game it's cool though. You can let some of that stuff go, I suppose. Hey, is that an unlimited card? That's cool. Alright, well, we'll get to that in a second. Ancient Din. song I think was up there okay to pull oh, which of the shards was any good not that one I don't think um, thought career is that useful nope Some rats from Weatherlight. Nope. That one's a common. Phantasmal Terrain from Unlimited. Beat up on the back here. It's probably not worth much because, well, it's not a beta. Come on now. Unlimited Edition, 26 cents. Yeah. I pull these because. When you put them in a lot, they go for more than one cent or whatever bulk commons go for. Scent of Ivy? I don't think so. Yeah. Okay, getting to the end here. Actually, there's one more little stack. We'll do that. Chittering Rats. Getting there. And remember that total is not complete. If you went all the way to the back, I have half of this collection on my Delver app, so I have to actually combine them together at the end. So stick around to my next videos for the total. And make sure that you subscribe and like and share and comment. Bog Imp from the dark, it's pretty beat up, but we'll pull it. It's pretty off center and beat up for a Chronicles. Relic Barrier, probably nothing. Peach Garden Oath, it's a cool card, but it's probably not worth anything. All right, that's gonna do it. Oh, hey, hey, right at the end, another sleight of hand, that's great. Seventh edition, and it's in decent condition. Being it was like four bucks. Cool. The big winners for this lot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Have a good one.